Well, if this isn't one of the strangest things you'll see on YouTube, I don't know what is, but here we have a fire extinguisher that's been converted into a compressed air cylinder, and I just used it to air up the tire on my mower. So let's go take a closer look at this thing and see what makes this possible. I use fire extinguishers as crucibles, and I get these things free, and the stainless steel one actually came in the last lot that I had gotten and I was kind of disappointed but I saved it and this one actually shoots water so what they do is they fill these things up with water and what makes it all possible to use this as a compressed air cylinder let me go ahead and down is they have this Schrader valve that they put on these and this is kind of what you see on your bicycle or lawnmower or vehicle tire and they pump air in it and it's just like a spray can you push down the button it's a compressed air inside or sometimes they use propane or, or whatnot and it shoots out what the the contents and the case of this thing it's water so I basically unscrewed this and dumped out all the water and let it dry out and go ahead and fill this thing up with air right here and went ahead and cut the little nozzle off the black hose. And I had this old blue hose left over from my old air tank, which actually rusted out. But I went ahead and saved this. So I went ahead and scabbed that thing together. Just ran the, the quarter inch thread up into this uh, fatter black 3 8 hose here. And threw a clamp on that actually came off a lawnmower or not lawnmower but uh, a bicycle handlebar and that was like the clamp that held the brake so that was easy enough and I'm gonna go ahead and replace this guy with one of those ones that lock on so basically I'm gonna lock that on whatever I need to fill whatever tire and then just come up here and squeeze the handle. And I don't know if you can hear that, but I've got some air in there right now. And that's how it works. And the thing already has a gauge on it, so that saves me 12 bucks and uh, it's got a nice handle to tote around the the property and these tanks are made to hold you know in upwards of 200 psi so you know filling this thing up to 125 is really no problem but it didn't take me long to do and I was missing my little portable air tank and here we go another free thing made from junk you have laying around and that's pretty what pretty much what my channel is about is turning nothing into something so thanks for watching and comment like and subscribe to my channel share this around if you like this type of thing because we'll do more of it Florida Fisherman out.